Hello and welcome to my first video that is not Anglo-Zulu War. This is something I've been working on for a little while now, which is a British Napoleonic force. And I wasn't actually planning on doing this video until a couple of days ago. I've been working on the Victrix box set. Honestly, best box I've done yet out of everything. I want to do a little bit of a comparison video with the the Warlord Metal box set that I did about a month ago. A couple of things about this video is the first one is that I'm only building a British force for the Napoleonics, so anyone based in Glasgow with a French force that need to kick in from some Highlanders, need to get in touch, basically. The second thing is, this is the first video I've done, which is actually looking at the models themselves. This is my last week's efforts, which is the first eight Gordon Highlanders from the plastic Victrix box. And these are honestly the best set of minis that I've done yet. The variation is brilliant like you could just do every single guy totally different if you wanted and i think the detail on these is a lot better than the metal miniatures and this is my favorite mini in the box it's the sergeant with this big pike and he just looks really badass this is the 92nd regiment of foot better known as the gordon highlanders Again, similar to the Black Watch, very famous Scottish regiment. Uh, they were heavily involved in the Peninsular War, fighting in several battles. I think most of them, actually. They also fought in the Hundred Days campaign. They're more famous for their bayonet charges than anything. They were involved at Quatre Bras, where they repelled a French attack with a bayonet charge. Two days later at Waterloo, they did something very similar. There's a really famous event during the Battle of Waterloo involving the Gordons, which is where they were ordered to repel a French advance with a bayonet charge, which they did successfully. And then once the French broke, the Scots Greys charged through and the Gordons were said to have grabbed onto their stirrups and been dragged along by the horses to get back into the battle. So this set of Highlanders that I did probably about a month or so ago now is the metal box from Warlord. And I really did actually enjoy doing these at the time. Um, however, since I've delved into the plastic ones from Victrix, I've realized that I don't actually like these as much as I thought I did. I painted these up as the 42nd Regiment of Foot, which is better known as the Black Watch Regiment. So very famous Scottish regiment. Uh, they were heavily involved in the Peninsula Wars, fighting in several battles. And then they were also involved in the Hundred Days campaign, including the Battle of Quatre Bras. This particularly stirring painting by William Barnes Wallen shows the Black Watch Square being mauled by French Lancer cavalry. And they were also involved in some of the most intense fighting at the Battle of Waterloo. Uh, I've based these up on the basis of them being in 100 days. So they've got really muddy, muddy boots, Flanders fields and all that. And when I finished these, I was actually really pleased with them. But since I've done the Victrix plastic ones, I'm not as happy with these. So having done the metal Warlord minis first, I really enjoyed them, but they got quite frustrating at times because there's some really rough bits on the sculpts. It's usually where the right hand wraps around the musket. Anyway, coming to the plastic Victrix minis, the, the models are absolutely brilliant. So much fun to paint. I'm so much looking forward to finishing that box off. In terms of scale, I don't know if you can tell from the, the camera angle, but the Warlord guys are 
slightly skinnier and slightly shorter than the Victrix ones, but they sit well together. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my first video in the Napoleonic series that I'll be working on. Hopefully I have a lot more for you in the future, so just keep an eye out. Cheers.